moving you to be healthy and happy. We know how hard it is to figure out a way to work fitness into your daily schedule. And that's why every Monday on CBS 4 News, we're highlighting stories about what's moving you. Yeah, we sure are. And giving birth is one of the most taxing events many women will ever go through. Mm -hmm. Yet, very few women physically train for it. This week, though, meteorologist Liz Horton introduces us to a mom who is determined to stay fit for a healthy and happy baby. So you stick your butt back a little, find your glute. It's time to put down the pickles and ice cream and pick up the dumbbells. Miami trainer James Goodlatte is changing the way women prepare for labor and delivery through exercise. We can get great fitness and great results that way, but we can also then avoid all the aches and pains of pregnancy. His brainchild Fit for Birth has quickly grown from a Miami program to a global initiative, teaching trainers and expectant moms proper techniques to endure and conquer labor. And he says there are proven benefits. Women who, who exercise during pregnancy spend one third less time in labor. 35% reduction in the need for pain relief for women who exercise during pregnancy. Through CBS 4's Moving You, we met Laura Cabrera, who's been training with James. She's a second-time mom who's determined to stay fit after a traumatic birth experience years ago. I had my daughter three years ago. I had her at 32 weeks. Unfortunately, I did have preeclampsia and HELP syndrome, so it was a state of emergency. I was in the hospital for two weeks, and she was born three pounds, three ounces via C-section. Laura blames a lot of her complications on her weight and an unfit lifestyle. I laid on the couch and I, I went to work and then I came home and I laid on the couch again. When her daughter was born, she knew she had to make some changes. That was a game changer for me. I had no idea that I would, you know, put my daughter through something like that, unfortunately. And so once she was born and I took initiative. Laura started eating better and exercising regularly, which helped her lose weight. When she found out she was pregnant, she immediately connected with James, who provided her with a work Workout plan. It's doable for anybody, you know, pregnancy or not pregnant, you know, I do them in the comfort of my home. All you need is a yoga mat, some dumbbells, and a resistance ball. I'm sweating and I'm working muscles I haven't in a long time. It's scary being pregnant now again, you know, thinking maybe something like this could happen, you know, we never know, but I feel much more confident now that I am in control. For more information on how you can get fit for birth right here in Miami, head on over to CBSMiami.com. So are you ready to get fit for birth? James says walking just 20 to 30 minutes a day is a great way to start doing that. Also eating well and staying hydrated are extremely important. Small changes can make a very big difference in the life of your child. So CBS4 wants to know what's moving you. Let us know what you're doing to stay healthy and happy. Email us at movingyou at cbsmiami.com and you can catch all of our, C of our moving you stories on cbsmiami.com slash movingyou.